Well, boys, another week, another week without a loss. Ooh. So it's a good week. It's a good <laughs> week in Saints footy. So uh, we're feeling very relaxed here at the studio. The vibes are good. It's nice and chill. We've watched some footy over the weekend. We saw uh, Fremantle and Brisbane mm. battle it out, which we'll talk about mm. very, very yep. soon in the podcast because we got Brizzy at the Gabba this coming week. But firstly, I want to check in on the boys, see how they are. Jake, how are you? Yeah, pretty tip-top, Joycey. Tip-top. Had a pretty good weekend, as you guys would have known. It was a big day on <laughs> Saturday morning, <laughs> coming into the studio and playing a few games. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, right. 30s, uh, so that was good fun. Well, not 30s yet, but getting there. Um, He's an old soul. Yeah, yeah. No, it was, a, it was an interesting weekend. No Saints footy, which was a bit sad, but a few really good games on. Um, the Collingwood Hawthorne game was pretty unbelievable at the end yeah, there. Yeah, that was hectic. Uh, Fremantle Brisbane as well. So, um, and even not uh, Friday night. So, huge, huge, huge round of um, of footy without the Saints. Yeah, it's exactly right. It's yeah. nice to have some good football without the Saints playing so you can actually just sit back and enjoy it for the game that it is. So. Uh, I was still I was still pretty, like, looking at the live ladder for some of the games. Yeah, yeah, same. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, we're still fit, so it's okay. Yeah, absolutely. We're a game, a game below everyone else, so. Yeah. Still another one to go. Marshy, how are you? Yeah, yep, uh, yep, yep, lads and listeners. Yeah, going well. There's it's... a bit of a pause in that yep, yep there. It didn't <laughs> it seem natural after. A... Was it well, because that... there was no footy? There's no footy. Yeah, that's right. I, 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 like. Daddy's just like, what are you guys going to talk about tonight? Like, That's a great call. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, going well. Thank you, boys. Um, yeah, just spent the weekends. Yeah, the uh, the studio games. That was that was good fun, actually. Yeah. Uh, something that I reckon we should uh, do a little bit more of, to uh, truth be told. But maybe not the, the Pictionary. <laughs> how, how, look, can we just talk about how crook my, uh, my, draw, my drawing... D- your drawing of me was bloody good. That was, that was the only good oh, one. Yeah, that, I reckon that was the best drawing for the day. What was the that, worst? What was the worst out of the whole day? Oh, I, that my, it, my skunk was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. <laughs> and then the horse, I think, was... I thought that was good. That was all right. The horse was all right. Okay, yeah. yeah. The yeah. first attempt at the horse was pretty. My marshal, my marshal was pretty bad. Oh no, that was, was great. All teeth. Yeah, it was all right te- yeah, yeah, but that's that's the way he is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. I had a uh, I had a mate who was at a um at a function on the weekend, and Rowan Marshall was there, and I was like, "How is oh, he?" Was that at the SP? It could have been. Yeah, because some guy messaged uh, Saints TV this morning with some photos, and he yeah. was at the SP, and he bumped into Kingy. Yeah. And uh, and Marshall as oh, well. I don't know. I don't. Took it was some a, photos. It was a morning one. It was a morning. Yeah, this was a function. drinks thing at night. Saturday oh, okay. Night. No, 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 uh, no. Wilkie was there as well. The, yeah. And the guy looked exactly like Steely a little bit. I'm not even oh, kidding. Oh, really? Yeah. And I told him, and he's like, "Look, I hear that all the time." And to be honest, I love hearing it. <laughs> yeah, of course you would. <laughs> yeah. What a pretty man, <laughs> yeah. honestly. Oh, but, um, I imagine, did, uh, the pl- imagine the doors that would unlock if you, you went around oh, just saying yeah. that you're Jackie Steele. Like, like if you, you just threw a bit of club merch on or something as well to really pump it up a bit. I feel like HD TVs ruined all that though, because now you actually really get to see the players' faces. Whereas, like in the 80s and 90s, <laughs> you could get away with having a lookalike on TV that looked somewhat mm. like the player. Yeah, and you'd just be like, oh my gosh, they look exactly the same. But with 4K now. You're not getting away you see with anything. Every frac- you see everything, don't you? That's exactly right. You see every dimple. You see every tooth. But everyone looks different in casual clothes, so You're that right. adds a bit yeah. of layer of uh, mystique to it, I suppose. Yeah, yeah well, there you go. All righty. Well, <laughs> boys, what are we going to chat about? We'll chat about Brisbane. So, yeah, the our Gabba. Opponent. Our opponent. We watched the game on Sunday afternoon uh, between Frio and Brisbane. Um Cracking game of football. It was good. Really, really cracking game of football. So it was really interesting to see how Frio dismantled uh, Brisbane's um, forward line, essentially. So the forwards were still able to kick goals, but I feel like the rebound and uh, the run from the midfield, was a, they were just able to get over the top of Brisbane easily. Yeah. Like it, it felt to me like Brisbane were actually lacking a little bit of X factor in that midfield. Yeah, I missed parts of the game, but I read on. I went on Big Footy and went on the Brisbane board and just wanted to see what their fans thought of their performance. It's yeah. always a good indication. And uh, the main thing they kept talking about was how bad their midfield was and how yeah. they were spanked. And basically, Fremantle would walk the ball out of the middle. Yeah. Um, I saw that in patches, but I missed a bit of the middle part of the game. But I assume in the fourth term when they got on a roll, I think they won by, what, 26 or something in the end, didn't they? No, it was a bit closer than that. It was, it it was, was 13. 13. They got 13. A, yeah. yeah, they got a couple of late goals. Yeah. 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 Um, so, um, but yeah, they, they really couldn't stem that bleed 
could they? They really couldn't stop that bleed um, in they, that last quarter. Yeah, and to which be, is something that we classically do this year is we pack on a lot of goals in quick succession. Yeah. The amount of times in that game where we took on the corridor in the third quarter and fourth quarter, um, it just gives you it, it gives you more spread and it gives you more options looking down the ground. So if you're tall forwards are negated mm. and say there's a Tom Stewart sitting there and in this case there's a Marcus Adams sitting there, you can look sideways and all of a sudden you're still 75 metres out. You can have that kick sideways to the top of the 50 and it just opens up a whole new hole in that forward 50. So I think that's what Freo did and they ended up getting a shitload of goals from that. Um, to Frederick, I think he kicked three. Mm. Bailey Banfield, he really took advantage of that. So they actually found... Is this so wrong as well? I think he kicked four. So, uh, so or um, one of their mids. I swear he kicked was four. Was it Banfield? Yeah, Banfield got four. Oh, he got oh four, it was it four. So he got not three, four. Yeah, he kicked three in the third quarter Jeez, and got right. one in the last. Yeah. Um, so that really opened them up. They were able to find different avenues to go, whereas for Brisbane, it was just the forwards. It was all yeah. very predictable. Yeah. Um, and that was just the opportunities they had for winning one-on-ones. So... Um, I think that if we can find more avenues to goal, so blokes like Mason would become really important this game. Absolutely. Um, you know, Charmin the runoff Sharman becomes really important. Uh, important. Um, even if Sinks goes into the midfield, you know, if he can snag a goal, job done. And you start to look at the spread from your midfield. Crouch is great at getting forward and sneaking a goal. We saw it against Adelaide yep. where the ball was in dispute and he was 20 metres away, but he beelined that pack and got the ball out. And He does it when we need it too, doesn't he? Yep. Like, yeah. He did it against... Um, the Giants. R- the Giants, Richmond. He started that trend yep. with that nice angled um, goal where Gresh That's right. half threw it over his yes. shoulder, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> oh, but, no. Um, Have you seen the slow-mo of that? Did he actually get it? Oh, he... Clean got yeah, it. Beautiful. Like it, it went a long way as well. He knew exactly what was coming. He knew he was going to get slung in the tackle. So he just did that and just. Genius. Oh, it, so genius. Fresh Prince. That's, yeah. That's all we want him And for. it went straight to Hill. He just used the momentum. It was just. He did it yeah. against Geelong Crouchy as well yep. last year. Almost got us over the line yep. at GMHBA. Um, yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. He, just, he just stands up when you need him to. His goals are important. They're yes. always important. Yeah, and especially with the lack of someone like Steele, yeah. who would usually come up and kick a goal like that or kick two goals for a game from forward stoppages. Mm. Then, you know, I think that's that's another one. Our forward stoppages, I think, are we number one in the competition from scores from forward stoppages? We were after the Geelong win, so I assume I assume the last that... two weeks we've been pretty good at it, so yes. it would be up there. Yeah, yeah. So we are just so dangerous when that ball's on the ground in our forward line, mm. and we're so dangerous when it's in the air. So I think the accumulation of inside fifties for us will really do us well, um, and then the rebound, of course, out of the back line, and yep. we should be able to get over the line. They are, you know, they're formidable. There, they've won yep. thirty-two of thirty-three. Yeah, we didn't. When we played them last year, was that at the Metricon? Was that at Metricon? Metricon yeah, it wasn't yeah. the Gabba. Oh, okay, it got moved, and they were annoyed. And then we beat them. Yeah, and, and, and that's good because, like, when you know, in twenty twenty, we 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 chose. Did we choose the Gabba to be our home game, or was it? Yeah, Gold Coast. Yeah, we chose Gabba. Yeah, we chose. The, yeah, I thought we did. And we went down by five points. Yeah, or something. yeah, and that's yeah. Um, in the wet. Yeah, and we yeah. came home very strong. Like it was that's just, right. We had a couple of misses. Zachy Jones had a few smothered, like on the like ten meters out. Yeah. Um, that was the one where JB kicked an awesome goal late. King yeah. took the specky. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, landed yeah. on his shoulder. Yeah. Um, we just couldn't kick straight that day. Yes. Um, yeah. But yeah. so, yeah, same with Brisbane. They're one of those teams that will, they always have 60 inside 50s and a yeah. lot of goals. So we're going to have to be on our game. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that the last time we played them, Danaher only kicked one. So, you know, and he's, he's and got Hipwood that. And tr- Hipwood went down last year in that game. He did. He did his knee in the first quarter. Yeah. That's right. So, um, but they're saying he might be dropped. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, from what I saw, I think it was on the weekend, he had six marks before half time or just after half time. I thought, well, that's pretty good. Yeah. He's getting yeah. a lot of the ball. He's leading. But then to see the comments, I'm like, okay, well. The match fitness. Yeah. And especially like Optus. Stadium is quite sludgy at the moment. Like the, yeah. the ground's quite soft, which is new for Optus Stadium because it's usually as hard as a rock. Yeah. So you do start to spend more legs when you're on a surface like that. So, um, but yeah, it'd be interesting if they dropped him because he wasn't awful. Well, he definitely wasn't the reason they and lost. He's definitely stretches us. Yeah, like yeah. Him, he's a good McStay, footballer. 
and Danaher. Like, yes. That that occupies Wilkie, Dugues, and Battle all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah all correct. All three can't run off anyone. They can't yeah. play attacking. They have to just play man on man all yeah. day. All right, well, um, let's let's talk matchups then. Yep, and then ins and outs. And then ins and outs, yep. yep. Okay, so we'll start with their forward line. We just started there. So you've got yep. Dugues, Wilkie, and Battle. Um, Dugues obviously takes your, your key forward. So if Danaher comes back, it's Danaher. Um, if not, it's probably McStay. Yeah, McStay. Although McStay's not as versatile when the ball hits the deck. So I feel like Wilkie could do a good job yeah. on a McStay. Whereas like if, if Danaher doesn't come in, Hipwood stays in. And he's good when the ball hits the deck. The deck, and yeah. And Dudes is better when that happens. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I just think, who are they going to put it on the head of more? You put Dukes on them, because Dukes is number one in the comp for spoils. Yeah, yeah. good point, yeah. Well, that would be McStay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. So, Dukes, McStay, Hipwood, Wilkie, I think he'd do a great job. Mm-hmm. He would really frustrate Hipwood because, he's, you know, he, he's been struggling to get back in to form mm. after a knee, and Wilkie just gives you no breathing space, no. so... What yeah. about Battle? Like, and then would he be ba- resting Ruck or? I don't think so. I think Dukes would go resting Ruck and then Battle would take McStay. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. So, um, just body-wise, I think they're... Like for like. Like for like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then they're small forwards of the danger. So, you look at your Charlie Cameron, uh, McStay and Zach Bailey. So, you've got those three that you need to take care of. Yeah, they're the biggest... Who they're can you afford to run off of? probably my biggest worries on that game is yeah. the smalls for them. Yeah. Uh, apart from us, I think they've got the best smalls in the comp. Yeah. So, um, they're most dangerous at the moment, Zach Bailey. Yeah. Does, um, does that mean Pado? Probably Pado to, to Bailey. Um, you need someone that can fly with uh, McCarthy if he decides to go up. Mm, and Cameron. Uh, and then Cameron. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, so Who's I'm, going on Charlie Davidson? He's he's the big threat. He's kicked 30. Mm. He's their leading goal kicker. Mm. Um, and he can turn the game. Yeah. Like that. Well, Pado's we, done it before. Pado's done it. So is Webster. So it's. We, I remember Webster doing it at the Gabba and doing a decent job. I'm just worried about if the ball, if he gets in behind J Webb, it's just. But I guess even if he does that against Pado, he's away. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No one's if, catching if, him. if we're in a position where that's happening, yeah, there's not many on our list that be able to do much to about him. it. Yeah. yeah. You put or you could him. put someone. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that there has to be a game plan going in if he does start to get on top, and that's where you maybe put a Ben Long on him, and, and you say you keep hair. your elbow right under his rib yeah, and make him that. uncomfortable. Because Ben Long also will fly with him. Oh yeah, He's got and leap, hit the ground like a, a cat. He can get off the ground like a cat. Yeah. yeah. So whereas Pado doesn't really do that as much as. Is there other defenders? Um, yeah, he won't be able to impact a pack. But if it's if it's dribbled along the ground and they're one on one, yeah, Pato is pretty good at just holding his own. Yes, exactly. He um, doesn't get fooled by all the hands. Like he he's done it against ground. Toby Green. He's yeah. done it against the best in the comp. So yes. you yeah. back him in there. Yeah, it's so, just if it's a if it's a race. Yes. Oh, um, if it's a leg race, no one's beating him. Yeah, yeah. No one's beating him. The only person that could stay with him is Jack Sinclair, and that's who I want to talk about off of half back as well. Who do we put him on? Do we put him on the likes of a McCarthy? Sinks? No. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't oh, think that, just um, I, I'm thinking, you know, because he's well, our greatest weapon out of defence. And then you make McCarthy accountable. Yeah. Make him worry about someone else a little yeah. bit. Because yeah. that's one thing with Brisbane is that, and this is, you know, maybe some people disagree, but I've always thought that they're very, very good when things are kind of going their way. Yeah. And they love kicking goals, but they don't love when things aren't going their way. And that's kind of where I thought we were at a year ago. Yeah. And I feel like that's still the case with Brisbane now. Mm. That when They things, just don't seem like a cohesive unit. Like they don't enjoy defending. No. Like they know they have to do it. Like, yeah. Well, we have to do it. We're paid footballers. Yeah. yeah. But we'd much rather just kick goals. Yeah. And that's why they're conceding 15 goals a week. They're winning games. Yeah. But they're, ki- they're kicking 17 goals to 15. It's like, yeah. that's, not, that's not top four material. Like, yeah. You're not going to win a flag doing that. No, no. Um, so I think that'll that'll be interesting. I yeah. think if someone like uh, is it uh, who, who's the um, indigenous guy that plays for them in the forward line? Oh. It was. Um, is it not Archie? Oh, uh, oh it could be Archie co- or Cockatoo. Cockatoo. 
the no, extra no, long no, player. No, 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 Coleman. Oh, he plays off, oh, yeah, right. he plays yeah, off yeah, half yeah, back yeah. now. He plays though. off half back he's now. Bl- his ball use is elite. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's very, he's, very he's good. He's had a great season. Um, I just imagine, you know, Benny Long goes onto him and just stops him. We'll get to Defensive the forward line. Defensive forward, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm just going through the. Yeah, Archie. Archie is the one I'm thinking about. Ah, uh, that's all right. Um, he'll, he'll play forward. Um, he kicked one goal, had three disposals. He might not he, even play this week. He He's the one, if he does play this week, he's the one that you put Sinks on because he'll yeah. worry about Sinks. Yeah. yeah he'll and he's worry. not a huge threat going the other way. No, no. At the moment. At the moment, exactly. Um, yeah. yeah. So, so I think the back line, I'm not feeling too bad about the back line. Yeah. Is it, would you guys agree that the the uh, the biggest worry would be midfield? Or, yeah. Or are you pretty comfortable with that too? Oh, yeah. Because it's pretty like for like. No offense. Like to, I mean, some people say, well, they've got the Brownlow medalist, but yeah. they're not big. They're not fast. They just get to the right spots. Yeah. And that's kind of like Crouchy. Mm. It's kind of like Seb at the moment in his form. Yeah. It's kind of like Jonesy. They're, yeah. I feel like we match up pretty well in the middle with them. Yeah. I think in terms of pace and in terms of endeavor, it's very we've similar. got them, but in terms of polish, they've got us there. So yeah. just, you know, we really need to make our possessions count through yeah. that midfield. And that's where, you know, we've got that fail safe of having Brad Hill and chucking him on the wing and just mm. being like, just be at every contest. Just yeah. be at the back of every contest ready for that handball and then we can use your disposal, you yeah. know. So they'll be playing, cl- paying close attention to that as well. Like they'll probably have to tag, I reckon, Hill. Otherwise, he'll tear them apart. Because they know that we don't have that polish in the midfield and that's where we look to. He is the polish. That's exactly right. So Nasai to step up here. Yeah. Yeah. He sees Hilly getting a hard like hard tag, getting Mm -hmm. getting a tough time in that first two quarters of that game. Yeah. That's when Nasai is like, All right, this is my time now. My time. Which I love that we've got Yeah. And we haven't talked about the kids yet, but do we back the kids in together, the three of them again? Yeah. or is And this is where I was going to say about the midfield as well. Yeah. That um, if Machado is playing, there's a little bit of height in the midfield. And if... Yeah. if um, oh, Windy. Windy. Hager? Thank you. Windy. <laughs> Windy, mate. Yeah. Windhager. If he's playing in the midfield as well, that gives us that edge that, you know, they'll put, they'll put Rayner in there and we'll go head to head with... Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, that that that's will so be really see. exciting. Yeah. So, you know, I th- I think he has a lot of vigor about him. So, mm. yeah. What do you think, Marshy? What, what's uh, he's been pretty quiet the yeah, old yeah, Marshy? No, he's that... just kind of chilling. Just yeah, toasting that's just fire. surveying the scene, boys. <laughs> yeah. um, what do I think? I, I reckon we're going to see some jiggy moves from the selection panel. So if I could just jump forward a, a tick, mm. but. I think this is a game where, because they've got a very tall forward line, particularly if Danaher plays, mm. I think we could see the return of Highmore for his first game. You're going to say it the right Highmore. way. Highmore! <laughs> Highmore! <laughs> um, so I reckon Highmore comes in potentially, and then that releases, say, maybe maybe a Bradley to go up onto the wing, just shuffles everything down a little bit. I, I think that I, I can't see us playing... All, Three of the kids, the I think either Windy or Machido would go out. Yeah, but you'd say yeah. Machido keeps it because he had a better game than Windy. Yeah, against North. Yeah, because you know we've got to make room for Higgins. He he's surely playing. You would think oh, Butler surely. would be. A- Butler, I was going to say, put his hand up. Yep. Yeah, um, I, would, I would say that was going to be my danger in for this game is Butler coming back. Potentially, yeah. or he might be given another week to prove that that you know to. Yeah. Con- mm. To, Just to concrete that. That's yeah, right, you that know, because yeah. I think we're kind of past the days of, all right, you get dropped for the X, Y, and Z reasons. You have a blinder and, all right, you're straight back into the team. Yeah. I think mm. maybe he gets has to work on it a little bit Another more. Week, but yeah. Yeah, but I was just, I just thinking can, about yeah. last time, he was really damaging. Yeah. Butler was super damaging against Brisbane. Yeah. No and one they, could go with him. They, they don't have, they've got pretty good tall defenders, but they don't have a lot of. Met. Like they don't have Paddo's yeah. and Webster's. No, they've got um, was it Coleman that you mentioned? Yeah, but he's again on the attacking side. He's their sinks. Yeah, so he doesn't want to be playing defensive side. And sides neither does anyone. Rich. And neither does Rich. Had thirty two on the weekend. Yeah, but I wonder how who he was on and how many goals they kicked. 
Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. So he was their number one disposal getter yeah. yesterday. Oh, yeah. He, he loves the cheap ones from the, the kick ins. But yeah. which smalls were, was he on? How many did yeah. he kick? That's, yeah, exactly. That's what counts. Yeah, yeah. He gets, he's the king of the uh, cheap You put Higgins kicks. on Rich if he plays. Yeah. <laughs> Straight off the bat. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah he'd give him nightmares. So yeah. I, I think Higgins, like, you know, he was in good form before he got injured. I yeah. think he probably comes in unless, you know, they wanted to give him a run at BFL. It's a long time to miss out. Yeah. But yeah, I, I don't know. I'm. It's beautiful that Brisbane, they're the team that's under the pump this week. It's yeah. not us. No. You know, um, externally, people aren't expecting the Saints to win it. Internally, we'd be like, fuck yeah, this is our game to, you know. Yeah. This has got us ridden all over it's it. A big but, game. but Brisbane, they're sore, they're smarting from that loss. And, and it was in uh, Perth. Biggest... It was in Perth, you're throwing that. So yeah. there's a lot of factors that are, 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 are boding well for us. And yeah, I. And for people to say, oh, the teams, the good teams don't lose two games in a row. Well, hello, look at Melbourne. You know, they've lost yeah. two games mm-hmm. in a row. Yeah. You know, albeit to good. good. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Sorry, Marshy, we're out of time. Bring it in. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. All right, I'll wrap it up. I'll wrap it up. I'll be quick. <laughs> that's the, that's the uh, what is it, the Oscars. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Wrap it up, you idiot. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so, I, like I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I just think it's glorious that um, we'll be coming up to Brisbane um, as the. I oh, know the team with a bit more steam, I, I think. I oh, I know my mate Murray. We talk about him all the time when it comes to uh, when we play Brisbane. Um, he said last week that out of Frio and St Kilda in the next two games, he said the the te- the game he was most nervous about was playing us at the Gabba. Yeah, yeah. not okay. Fremantle in Perth. He yeah. said it's we, you guys we at the Gabba. Rocked the Gabba. Yeah, we like we the Gabba. bloody rocked the Gabba mm. a couple of years back. Yeah. Um, so for a Brisbane fan. To say that, you're like, all right, well, yeah, maybe yeah. our boys go there with that attitude. We need, and I, we say this every week, and I feel like a broken record, but fuck, we need to start start well. Yes. Like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Because the crowd there, they they it's similar to us at Marvel. When the crowd's up and about, the players have said it, it drives them. Yeah. yeah. If the crowd's up and about early in, the, in that game on Saturday night, and we're at the disco and we're watching, we're like... I'm leaving, you know. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Yeah, um, that, we'll it. be in a bit of trouble, but I back our boys to come out strong. Yeah. And absolutely. the Queensland Saints, there's, there's a pretty strong representation True. up there. Yeah. So, you know, there'll be uh, there's always support for the Saints in, in Queensland games. So. Yeah, a lot of Bayside retirees up in Queensland. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that, that's it, that's it. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I could see us easily getting the chocolates. It's, it's, uh, it's very funny because I'm just looking at the odds here as well. We're three bucks, aren't we? Yeah, it's a dollar forty to two ninety six. Oh, it's yeah. two ninety six now. Yeah, Jeez. we were nearly four bucks the other day. Oh, really? That's really shortened. Yeah. Oh, well, after based that on loss, that result, yeah, yeah. yeah, and injuries coming out. So, anyway, we will pause here. Yep. Well, we're getting to quickly yeah. though. We just want to oh. do a quick shout out for the. Um, Relating to the Brisbane game, Saturday mm-hmm. night, Saints TV Disco at the Bentley Social. Yep. From 5 p.m., you get 15% off drinks and food, which is amazing. Yep. As Too long as you have good. to be wearing Saints gear. Have if you to don't be wearing wear Saints, Saints gear. If you've got uh, Saints colours, you're not getting the discount. Yeah, and mm. the event is on the Facebook page, so please go on there, RSVP your attendance so we know numbers, which is great. Yeah, so for um, those that are interested... Uh, There's 80, that, yeah. 80 of you that are interested. Yeah, yeah all 80 of you that are interested, please, and you wanna, you're coming... Go from interested to going, yeah. Because we need to let RJ know the numbers on Thursday. Sort so out, sort out the tables. Yeah. I also want to put it out as well. I won't be there this Saturday because I'm going to go up to the Gabba and watch. But I want to see what type of weird St Kilda shit that everyone has. Yeah, like you had your robe. That's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty unique. Yeah, yeah. You bring yeah. So that. I want to see you in your robe. Yeah, I yeah. want to see some shots of you in your robe. I want to see some weird paraf- Saint Saint Kilda paraphernalia. Yeah, good call. That people have. Yeah, uh, yeah. To bring down to the Bentley Social. That's Especially, excellent. Yeah, yeah. It's and, and something that you don't mind losing because you know if if, <laughs> if we do win, if we do win, it's, it's, it's coming off. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Because yeah, so there will be prizes and prizes for best dressed. And I meant to talk about this after the uh, Adelaide game when we're at the side. Social, but I did a prize for best dressed. Yeah, and uh, this chap, he said his name. His name's Mason. I'm like, oh, Mason Wood, and he's like, oh, my last name's Garwood. So he's <laughs> Mason Garwood. Like, there you go. What are the odds? But um, yeah, re- very lovely fella, and he was rocking some. Yeah, good kid. He had a really nice. 
I think it was an indigenous style Nasty. headband to complete the look. Mm. So he, he got the the Saints footy money tin. So yeah, got to get a photo of these best dressed. Sorry. Yeah, most Put certainly. Them up on the socials. Most yep. certainly. So yeah, I'll, I'll bring some prizes along. Seven thirty. Yeah. Oh wait, from five. Bentley from Social. From five. But if you want to get there earlier, then you know, be our guest. How, um, how many projectors? Two? There's two. There's Beautiful. two. So we get the centre stage right in front. And like, depending on how many numbers we've got, if it's the 50 that we're kind of projecting maybe, then, yeah, we've got the one big one in front of us. But if we get more than that, then we're taking it over. We're yeah, taking it over. Oh, we want to get 100 there. That'd be sick. Yeah, if we get 100, then, yeah, we've bang. We get two projectors of Saints. 40, 40 confirmed already with 80 interested. So yeah, yeah. there's a chance for a big one. And this That's is pretty it. exciting. That's yeah. it. So. Yeah. Beautiful. It's going to be a ripper night from five o'clock. Lots of fun. Bentley Social. Get down. Get down. RSVP to that Facebook page. Yeah. (laughs) Hopefully you'll be there. You'll be there. there. Godfather's there. Don't worry. (laughs) Shut your mouth. (laughs) Honestly. All righty. We're going to have a break now and uh, get cracking into some Jakey's Drunk Mail. Jakey's Junk Mail. Jakey's Junk Yeah, it is time for Jake's proclamation. <laughs> oh, what actor does that remind me of? Um, oh. The way you spoke, it reminded me of someone. Do it again. Jake's proclamation. <laughs> nah, it doesn't remind me of anyone. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Every thinking, old wanker in Hollywood. Can you do a good Christopher Walken? I might be able to... <laughs> All right, we're doing that next week. <laughs> All right. Christopher walking in the room. It's not bad. It's, it's not bad. bad. I can, I'll, 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 I'll cast straight that. up. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty yeah. tight. All right, this one is... Where are we? Hit this watch up your father's ass. <laughs> <laughs> this one's from Simon. Good old Simon. Simon. Simon says... He says, Hey, lads, if there was a mid-season trade period, who would you trade for this year and what would you be prepared to give up to get said player? Boom. <whistles> who would you go for? Jeez, off the cuff. And this is, I guess, just contracted, just anyone. There's been massive talks about Taranto. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you'd go to the miserable clubs. Like blokes, of, yeah, Taranto would be easy to pry out of. Yeah. yeah that's, that's a shithole at the moment. Yeah, because of the whole new coach and everything yeah, like that. Yeah, I reckon I'd go for Taranto and I would give them... Who would you cough up? I'd give them the this year's first round pick and next year's. Just get it done. Get it done, yeah. yeah. He's, well, effectively, he's not even in his prime yet. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Two first rounders for him, blues. Yeah, I'll go the Tarantula. If that was the case, you wouldn't just re reopen the, the Ben King discussion? No, nah, he's done his knee. Yeah, not at the moment. Yeah, we, 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 we want to win a flag this year and, yeah, yeah, the tarantula. That just Who gave you? me tingles. <laughs> oh, tarantula? We want to win a flag this year. Gave me tingles. And you know why it's giving me tingles? Yeah. I've had a recurring dream. Ooh, oh, God. Yeah. Go. Yeah, I've had a recurring dream of being at the G, sitting up on level three. Yeah. And us winning the grand final twice. Oh, I've had that so dream. a bit of Alison Duvoir media magic. That's over. exactly right. And Go on, medium on level three, the best view on the house for a flag. So yeah, that's, that's exactly I, I right. think it, I think anywhere. Like, yeah, that, actually, actually, no. The Europe. first the first dream was level three, and this is funny because the first time we played Collingwood in the draw was up on level three. I was yeah. right up the back in the nosebleeds, and when we lost to them in the replay, I was front row. Yeah, behind yeah. the goals, watching Sam Gilbert kick points. Yeah, I went to both of them. That I, year, I didn't yeah. go to the replay. No. Nah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, the the first dream was there. The second dream was there, and in the second dream, I, I, I called up the missus, and I was crying. I was like, <laughs> "We've done it!" And it wasn't like the siren hadn't even sounded yet. Yeah. It was five minutes left. Uh, awesome story. And we were five um, goals up. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to hear about premiership success, nah, Jake. Nah, come on. Stop being so miserable. Let's get I'm, into it. Let's get into it. Mate, I've got the runners on <laughs> for you blokes today, all right? <laughs> sorry. All right? Sorry. One week at a time. Yeah, sorry. I'll apologize. But, um, we, but, yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, Jake, we, we're not... These aren't runners. I'm not going for a jog in the... Joyce is not going for a run down the park in those. These are, we're sneaking around. You're not, you're not running about town. We're sneaking. We're taking yeah. it. Yeah, well, you boys, you got to show steps. me the ropes, Yeah, right? baby steps. Yeah. This is a start. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. That's a good start. Couldn't go the vans again. you got the sneens happening. That's yeah. not bad. Yeah, yeah, they're all right. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you were saying we're going for a flag this year. 
I got carried away. No, that's fine. No, like, that's normal. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, into, I'll indulge you boys as well real yeah. quickly while we're on the subject. But we were at a dinner party on Saturday night and um, my mate, you know, our mates have been known for a long time. That no, They don't go for St Kilda. They're not really that interested in football, to be fair. Um, and I'm like, this is the year, like... They like you can be so, you say that every year for the last 15, 20 years that I've known you. I'm like, but this is this is real. Like we are really a chance this year. Like I'm not even lying. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you when I believe it. I'm like, oh my dead set. And they, they actually got a bit excited for us. So, yeah. like, oh, so you you're actually being serious. I'm like, yeah, we're not bad. And Dee's like, yeah, we're pretty good now. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I feel it bubbling? Oh, just, Why do I feel uh, the cauldron just bubbling a little just bit? There's so many good it's things just starting to boil. It's, it, for me, it's kind of like this... It, when I think about us now, for some reason I get this feeling of the times where in 2017 and these other years where I thought we were good and I thought that was our year mm. and then for some reason it, it takes me back and then I fast forward back to this moment and I'm like, no, nah, this is different. Like there's yeah. some shift in that feeling. If you understand oh, they're, they're, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, oh, definitely. And there's, there's tangible things going on to back yeah. up why it feels different. Yeah. 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 So there you go, Simon. That uh, definitely answers your question. <laughs> Who are you going for? <laughs> Who are you picking uh, up? I've been big on Taranto from the start, yeah. I think. So yeah. he, right. would, he would be one of my top picks. Mm. The goalie second. Nah, I'm joking. That's just for people that... It- <laughs> Yeah, that, that'll be a topic of debate later <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, we'll mm. release that video when we can, so yeah. that'll be interesting. Uh, this one is from... Um, <laughs> this one's from... How do you pronounce... What do you, how would you say that? Childsy? Uh, Shaladesy. Shaladesy? <laughs> That's, it's 100% not Shaladesy, but we'll go with that. Um, I've got a good old 29 song Ooh. to the tune of Dancing in the Dark by Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, it's a tune. Yeah. You can't... I don't even know how it goes, so I'm just going to say the lyrics. So far. You can't sell mm-hmm. some candy. You can't sell some candy like Hunter Clark. This guy's oh. on fire. There's no stopping the legend Hunter Clark. Is that... Can't sell some candy. Can't sell some candy to Hunter Clark. What's this the This guy's on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, there's no stopping the legend Hunter Clark. Yeah. Yeah, fair. That's that's, that's pretty not bad. That's pretty tight. Can we get can we get Joycey to do it like the Yeah, just Do you need to read it? Yeah, have a have a read of that, Joycey. You you can do it. Yeah. A cappella. Do it like the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Wrote this song while sitting under a tree. <laughs> I, <grew up. laughs> I know I was having a glass of whiskey. Just thinking about my mother. <laughs> I really don't know Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> oh, uh, that's funny. You can't sell some candy. <laughs> can't sell candy like home to close. This girl's on fire. <laughs> Wait, where's the rest of it? Next one, slide. It's a photo. There's no stopping the lead. No, nah, that doesn't work. Yeah. No stopping the lead to hunt to claw. <laughs> that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. Sorry. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> no, a good shout it. there from uh, Shalady. There's, yeah, plenty to like There's plenty to work with there, yeah. actually. Is that going to go in the into the production? Yeah, well, okay. what do you well, call it into the uh, into the pot? You stir it about. Well, you know, it, it, yeah, it's definitely got a Hubble bubble toil and cause some trouble. <laughs> um, but you know, we, we're just going to keep. I reckon that's a twenty twenty three. What's, what's the Clark one again? The current one. Hunter. Uh, of course. Uh, uh, Actually, I'll take credit for that. You definitely don't take credit. <laughs> for that. I, know. I did. The, we did the video. Oh, we did the video. Did you? Have a- <laughs> <laughs> Same, well, did you have that song beforehand? Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. I honestly had no <laughs> idea. Guy, huh? I thought I, I thought I, I took full credit, full credit for that, but I, oh god, puts, puts me on the spot. Every week something bad happens on this podcast. <laughs> um, this one's from Kieran. Favorite team to watch besides the Saints? Mm. I'll Ironically, no. Oh, None. Go. None. <laughs> None. Um, none. none. Who, who, who for you? Ironically, it's the Lions. I really yeah, like watching same. the Lions. Yeah, I thought, I, you, I thought you've got a stiffy for the Lions. You're always going on about them, Jackie boy. Favorite team to watch besides the Lions? I oh, can't. Uh, the, when they the when Saints. they were up and coming and not quite top yeah. four, yes. <laughs> but now because they're one of our biggest yeah. competitors, I can't enjoy them because I don't want them to win. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. Fair enough. There's, there's a few sides I. Don't mind watching. It's same with Melbourne. 2018, I really loved the way Melbourne were going about it. Made a prelim, made a run. Yeah. Now, mm. nah, I can't. I mm. can't enjoy the way they're going. 
because they <laughs> because they're directly oh, now, now, now that they're we're directly in the way yeah. of us breaking the <laughs> Break, ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't enjoy it. I, I do like watching Freo at the I moment. Rate no, oh. I enjoy watching North. To be yeah. honest, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Essendon for me. <laughs> yeah, West Coast all the way. Oh, oh, um, yeah, yeah I, I, I love Brizzy. Yeah, I, I love ever since I was a kid. It, it reminds me fondly of my childhood. Yeah, and just, okay, yeah, just their success. Them dominating. I to oh three. Yeah, yeah. So I, I do like Brizzy, and of course the South Yarra affiliation, the Lions, the yeah, the, the jumpers that we the wear we wear. Uh, but yeah, the the girlfriend of I we've started watching Freo because she's a massive fan of the Freo theme song. Yeah, oh yeah, it's, it's a ripper. Freo. It is. Heave-ho. It's Freo. a real heave-ho. Oh, that's Freo. That, Freo. no, that's uh, that's actually Leo Connolly's saintly hymn. Oh, is it? Leo, Leo, <laughs> Leo, way to go! It's just a Freo song. I'm real but it's Leo. I'm down below. She reckons it's a really good like. If you're watching a strip scene in a movie, yeah, that yeah. could be playing because it's a bit like she's my cherry pie. <laughs> it's got the same sort it's of. It's a you know. really unfairly maligned song as well, I reckon. Like it's when they as, do, when they yeah. always do like the polls of like best to worst teen yeah. songs, it's always there at the bottom, which I, I I don't agree with. Yeah, and you can just pick picture people at the docks doing the heave ho to that song. Yeah, yeah. at least it kind of suits that yeah. area, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. What's the best? theme song just my own junk mail there I I always say it Richmond that yellow and black it kills you doesn't it it's huge uh, like it's massive I I love Norths you love really? North, yeah, 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 because nah. they've got the they they got the prelude one, the out they come, out they come, out they come to play, just for recreation sake, pass the time away, yeah. lots of fun, heaps of fun, enjoy yourselves today, North Melbourne, another team to play, or oh, something like yeah. that, yeah, yeah, that's and then good. it goes, oh North, yeah. yeah, so join in, the- yeah, no, nah, I can't, I gotta I say like though, post match. The team singing the song Saints are by far the best. Yeah, Saints. Yeah, yeah. we're 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 slow. We're composed. We treat it. We Saints. do. We do treat it with a lot of respect. We do. Yeah. Whereas Freo, we're just trying to bloody get I, through. I was going to well, say yeah, that it's because yeah. we've got what ten words in our song, so you That's just exactly. emphasize every word, don't you? Yeah, oh, and it like, gets you up and about. Oh, yeah, it, Saints. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're marching. Yeah, yeah. yeah I reckon. We are nearly there, but we need to bring the clapping back like we yeah. did. I, I've been big on it all all year, but yeah. we do treat our song with the most respect out yeah. of the comp, I reckon. Yeah. My, Everyone else just wants to get over there and done with with theirs. Yeah. Yeah. I rate, yeah, Richmond and Melbourne have always been my top two. I like Melbourne's. I rate Melbourne's a lot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this one's from uh, Lachlan. It's going to be personal here. How Ooh. old are you guys? Hey. Can we release that information? Better. <laughs> uh, I don't even know how old. Them. I don't even know how old you two are. So, uh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm 27. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Joyce is a spring chooker around here. Yeah. Oh, I'm 34. I'm 30. I'm Can you old. believe that, yeah. listeners? I'm Paddy Ryder. Look at this guy, Jaron Geary. <laughs> yeah. like, it's so shit that you know I'm considered like I'm considered lucky to be playing in the footy. Now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm in my so, prime. <laughs> yeah, I'm like go Monday, go. <laughs> yeah. He's like 36 or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, oh no, it's pretty sad when, yeah. But what, how, how old are you, Jakey boy? Uh, 29. 29. Big yeah. 30 in October. Ooh, Ooh. Big party, big party. Hopefully, Imagine uh, that after a Saints Premiership, mate. eh? Ooh. What do you think we're doing for A lot for of headaches going yet. around there, a lot of hangovers. Watching the replay, that's what we're Oh, doing. that's exactly right. So rent out a cinema, get the wine out. Oh, yeah. I could dig that like a watch shovel. The, watch the full replay. Yeah. Done, lock it in, Saners. Yeah. T- October 15th, be there. Uh, Bentley Social. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one's from Ben. Hey, Jakey, loving the pod this year. Thanks, mate. Got a Jakey's junk mail, but not a question. It didn't fit in the story. I was at the Melbourne-Sydney game last night, and walking back from the game to Richmond Station, I randomly hear, oh, when the Saints, (laughs) getting sung close to me. Saints footy is inevitable. Oh, yeah. Even the bye can't take it away. (laughs) <laughs> How well good said. is that? Yeah. Why are they? <laughs> I love that they're just. We singing. are inevitable. <laughs> yeah. At Marvel as well. <laughs> you know what? Like the other the other week, I, I was I stopped by well quick to get a, a Cheeky's Andrews hamburger. Right. Mm. Oh, good spot, yeah. yeah. And I was and I was the walking best. I was walking to my car and then I just hear the can the shiners and like just real and I'm just like gave it the pump and yeah and like you know, and the bloke's like mad saner yeah. like, you know I just I've been thinking about that moment I'm like you know I should have given him more because usually I do you could give him a hug yeah. there 
Well, he's in his car. <laughs> I, what I, what, if I had my time again, because I had my brown bag and my Diet Coke, I would have just put it on the middle of the road and just get him a saintly flex. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I, I was dead set. I was dead set stewing on it for the rest of the day. I'm like, I should have done better. <laughs> Were you just in the mirror like, fuck, I should have done it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. Because like, oh, I had my puffy jacket on. I'm like, would it have even looked good? And I'm in the lift at, at home and there's like a mirror. And I'm like, oh, that would have looked fucking mad. You're like, <laughs> yeah. Reenact so, the whole thing to a yeah, deity. Like, I did this, but I should have done that. Yeah. I can't believe it. Oh, no, definitely not a story I'd share with anyone outside <laughs> of this space. But yeah. Well, you have because it's this, on the podcast this, and yeah, we've got 12,000 listeners. So. <laughs> there yeah, we go. Yeah. This is the beanie that I was wearing too. So, But yeah, Saints Footy is out and about in the community. Yeah. Did you happen to go to uh, Andrew's right after we got lunch? Because you didn't get Andrew's that day. No, 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 no. Classic Jake. Yeah, yeah nah, nah, didn't. Uh, but, um, good to know. Yeah. I'll keep an eye out. Because yeah. that's just down there. I'm literally across the road from Andrew's working there. So oh. I've got a guy, I'm in Albert Park. Yeah. Um, at an agency there and one of my colleagues, he literally gets Andrew's every single day. Oh, jeez. And he's and never got intense. one. Jake's never, never got, got it. Oh, I've tried the chips with the chicken salt. That's bloody amazing. Yeah, I was never had say, the burgers though. The burgers are just something different. Chicken they... burger though, is that good? Anyone? Oh, I imagine everything they do is everything. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, but I'll like, try it. That it's an institution. Burger, it is. Yeah. Yep. And all you right. get to see it all being done, and you're like, this is just authentic, and it's like. Yeah, everyone talks about yeah, it. Yeah, there's a lot of love that goes into yeah. an Andrew's hamburger. Mm. Not yeah. sponsored again, similar to P- yeah, Pizza Hut, but yeah. Uh, this one <laughs> oh, is from... Yeah. Don't get started on Pizza Hut, mate. Yeah, I'm starting. This one's from Adrian. It's hey, boys. <laughs> Long-time listener. Good work on the pod. Thanks, Adrian. Oh, yep. yeah, Cheers, mate. Uh, with Owen's a bit <laughs> What'd you stiff. call him? AIDS. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> Play on. Well, Dad's name's Adrian. Everyone calls him AIDS, but yeah, it is not the I thought it was. Yeah, I thought it was more ads. Isn't it ads? No, it's AIDS. But it's like but it's like if you call Diane, like, you know, go with a die. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, true. It's, it's yeah. a bit harsh. Yeah, fair. Uh, with Owens a bit stiff uh, with missing out on the rising star, who do you think will be the first Sano to get a nomination this year? Oh, good I'm going to say Owens anyway. I think he'll get it pretty soon. I reckon Nasaya this weekend. Yeah, he'll get, yeah. A, he'll get yeah. 20, 22 okay. yeah. at He's been tickling the form because a lot of the form goes into that. Um, yeah. So, so Machito's really had like one really good game, hasn't yeah. he? Yes. Yeah. If he kicks, if Machito kicks, if he plays, first of all, if he plays this weekend, great. I reckon, if he kicks two and has 15 touches, he's yeah. a chance. But I reckon Nasai is the one that's going to chime in and kick yeah. two. Yeah. yeah. And if I'd he does, because he's had so many opportunities, but he's missed them all. Yeah. yeah. Like it. And they've all been really exciting. Like the one yes. against North where he turned yes. the guy inside out. You're like, now he's going to oh, bury it. And he yeah. just didn't. So I'm like, oh. Yeah. He always tries to just caress it through. It's just like, nah, it. if you're on the move, you've got you to gotta kick it hard. Like yeah. kick through it and run through it. Because yeah. you see the goals that he's kicked at Sandy. Yeah. Like, yeah. That, that's, he's doing what you're describing, Joyce. He yeah. just kicks through it. Like, it's just, yeah. he knows where the goals yeah. are. Yeah. He doesn't hesitate. Nah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, this one's from Nick. Do we rely on Maxi King too much? My concern is if he gets injured, I feel we may miss the top eight. Agree or not? I don't think we'll miss the top eight, but no. I think we've seen that we've got the the football to adjust to um, Maxi King not firing. Would Marshall start in the square if Maxi King wasn't playing right yes. now? Yes. And how good is that? Yeah. yeah. How good is that to have yeah. someone well, like right. that playing in yeah. the square? And we saw we played... Hawthorne last year or the year, the year, year before, I think. Uh, 2020 and yeah. King didn't play and Marshall got best on ground. Yes, there you go. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So having Marshall as your half forward, what a weapon. Yeah. What a weapon. Yeah. So, yeah. I agree with that. Um, this one's from Matt. Or oh, touch wood as well. Yeah, def- yeah. Yeah, we yeah, would yeah, most fair certainly call. rather oh, him fair there. Call. Oh. Yeah. Look, mate, he's not going to get injured, all right? Scammy like that. Yeah. Yep. Um, this one's from Matt. Hey, mate, hope you found the blank... <laughs> Jumper at Saints Locker. Oh, he was there on um, Captain's Run a few weeks ago, and oh, I was yeah. in the uh, Saints Locker at the club looking for my um, the new black um, New Balance jumper. Oh, yes. Really nice yeah. one. Yeah. But they only had extra larges there. Yeah. I'm like, I need an extra small, mate. Come yeah. on, throw me, <laughs> throw me a bone here. <laughs> um, they weren't there. They weren't in stock, but he's looking out for me, this guy. Yeah. Uh, just wondering if the boys were... Um, if the boys were on Big Brother, who do you think is the first to be evicted and who ends up winning? I haven't watched Big Brother since 2000. I'm going to go... I'm just going to add to that question. In terms of players, yeah. Big Brother, and then if us three were on Big Brother, how would we go? Okay, yeah. So let's let's go with the team first. Who Do they call win? Skunk Skunk because he stinks? Yes. If so, he's out first, yeah. But, yeah, but are we voting? But they don't vote him out. We, is, is the, it, people, oh, yes. the, the people. The people, yeah. Yeah. 
Jack Higgins is probably winning, yeah. I think. Yeah, I was thinking Higgo or wise. Steely. I reckon Steely would just get all the votes. I reckon Hannabry's gone. Yeah, they're like, fuck off, Hannas. Yeah. yeah, but he's the pest that, like, they, he'd have a laugh. So I reckon him and Jack Higgins would cause a lot of chaos they'd and play some pranks. They'd be the down ones. They, they'd play some pranks and make yeah. it fun. Nah, people would be a little resentful of the fact that you he reckon? just hasn't played games I, and he's, he's costing a fortune. I, I, I was completely taking let's football ass- away from it and Yeah, doing let's assume that they're just nah. not yeah. playing footy yeah, and they're just in the right. house. No one likes a stingy bastard. It's reckon, Josh Battle. Piss off. I reckon Rats <laughs> goes pretty far into it. If we're putting coaches oh, in there. we're putting coaches in there. He's keeping. He's the peacekeeper. Um, but Who, we're all. You know, there. actually, I, I, yeah. I bet you this would be an underdog. Say there was odds on Big Brother yeah. Saints players. D Max paying fifty bucks. I reckon he, he's one that could go all the way. Yeah, just under D-Mac, the radar. He's just under the radar, but yeah. he's nice. But he's got a bit of funny about yeah, it. A bit quirky. A bit yeah. quirky. I reckon he knows how to live in that environment yeah. and away from home. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just still going skunk. I reckon skunk to be a bit boring. I'm yeah. a DMAC to win. Yeah, but, yeah, to, but to get to, evicted to first. I think yeah. that was the question, wasn't it? To get evicted uh, first. Who would win and who would be evicted okay, first? Okay, yeah. yeah. I, I think I think Jack Higgins is the winner because he's very lovable. Um, I, I reckon Dara. Dara's getting booted out first because like, no one would be able to understand him. And all yeah. he would do, he'd be just be in the gym all day. Yeah. yeah. Just doing that. Pumping iron. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Dara, he's gone. All right, yeah. And... Um, if we were in the house. If we were in the house. Shit. Imagine I think that. The, Marshy's got the personality to win it. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'd grease the wheels. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon, Jakey, you're gone. You reckon yeah, I'm gone? Yeah, you're yeah. gone. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Based on the poll that I put up a couple of weeks... Uh, <laughs> you two. Yeah. yeah so, so, you, by you, the way, why did you do that? That was, because, a, that was a little bit... <laughs> that, yeah. You know why? You know why, boys? Why didn't you put because, yourself in there? <laughs> well, because the question was, it was a question to me saying, uh, who would you pick out of Joycey and Marshy? Uh, and so I was like, I can't answer that. I can't, yeah. they're my two children. I can't do that to them. <laughs> oh, so I put okay, it to the that, people. Yeah, fair the enough. Godfather gave the power to the people. Yeah. And the people said, 70% Marshy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I uh, put myself out yeah, there yeah. not to be liked, but to uh, provide information. <laughs> and if you have a problem with that, you can shove it. <laughs> I, was just, I was just being fair. Yeah. I was just being fair. Yeah, true, true. Oh, yeah, I, I, just feel like, yeah, um, I feel like I would get kicked out because Saints TV would be down for months and they need so, me out Yeah, there. that's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, get you back out there. Yeah. Oh, someone's got to run the <laughs> yeah, ship, that's you know? Why. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know. People have tall poppy out there, so they're probably sick of seeing... Seeing your grill around, they're like, "I'll get him out." You know, let let Marshy or Joycey win the money. J- yeah. Jake Jake would get really pissed off <laughs> oh, because would- he'd you'd be the appropriate one, and we'd be lazy on the dishes or something like that, and you'd get really yeah, pissed off and really out. unlikable. But you've been real <laughs> sensible. Yeah, I'm like boys, stop shitting in the beds. Like, yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a. <laughs> You're kidding. That's the last question, Marshy. You now. got so drunk last night that you shat the bed. <laughs> Hey, Joyce, are you shat in the shower? I feel like we'd all want to get evicted at the same time if we knew it was start of the season or yeah, like finals yeah. coming up. We're like, all right, let, we're out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're out. Well, that's right, yeah. Cut the cameras. Yeah. 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 This, this has got to be off season though. And yeah, like, yeah. This is October to January. Yeah, which there. which is funny because like, what do you watch throughout October, at January that you like to keep updated with? Or the EPL. Is it the EPL? Oh, I was going to say, um, for us, it's the cricket, so we'd be pretty sad. Well, EPL's pretty much all year long anyway. Yeah, true. And yeah. I was going to say trade period. Trade period. Trade radio. Yeah. Imagine, imagine being in a Big Brother house or that kind of environment for a whole footy season. Oh, no. Yeah. And not knowing the results. Not no, yeah. yeah. And they're like, all right, we'll give you 100K straight up to do it. Would you yeah. do it? No. You wouldn't, would you? And you come out like I don't know, a week after the grand final. You're in there for... Oh, not at the moment. <laughs> not at the moment. <laughs> Maybe in 2014. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you were a North fan right now, you're like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll yeah, take yeah. the money. I'll pay And in fact, in. don't even pay me. <laughs> Just yeah. Me yeah, that's it. Yeah, true. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Tri- that- triple it and I'd do it. That was the last question of junk mail. Yeah, but Huge. no amount of money <laughs> would take you away from witnessing a Saints Premiership. No. Full stop. Uh, if someone if they, offered you a billion, you'd still be like, no, this is shallow. I've been here for one. <laughs> stop right there. Stop right there. Yeah, no. a, billion. a billion. If someone offered me a billion dollars or to watch St Kilda <laughs> win a grand dollars. final. I was just thinking, gold <laughs> member. A trillion for trillion yen. Yeah. Why would you have a billion when you can have a million? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, half a mil would do me. Yeah. yeah. Anything less than that. I love I'm these not missing out. I'm not missing out. 
No, nah. you're not missing. You it. could not Half rip me away. From, you could not rip me away from a Saints grand final. I'd feel. I'd feel like why do I if, deserve if they, this half a mil? Here's a good Go one. give it to someone who's like in poverty. Oh, yeah, piss your money off to someone who's more important. Oh. I want to watch, watch my Saints. What about Saints. this? Oh, this is going to test you. There. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Getting number one on the charts or Saints flag? Oh, oh that's you! Oh. Yeah, oh, I knew yeah. that would get you. Because that could number be number one. That could be a half a million. That is million. your career. Oh, I was that say, is you. It'd, it'd be it'd be number one on the charts. You would that's take that. That's something I've been working out for the past twenty years, yeah. and I've just. But been you wouldn't take a billion. Singular. No, I wouldn't. Yeah. So imagine, like, yeah. So you, that you got a call to go on the tour of your lifetime, but it starts week one of the finals, and it's over in the states. Or yeah, like I'd, have some... to, I'd have to do it. Yeah, it's, a, it's it's always been a choice between football and music, and there like you, go. you know, music has always taken the cake. So it's going to take the cake there. Is there a, what's the number one thing in your world that precedes? Football. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, haven't it? <laughs> uh, uh, no, no. Does, does it even exist? Yeah. <laughs> I'm still searching, boys. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll get back to you, Barry. <laughs> yeah, well, that's junk mail. We're yeah. done. <laughs> How about you? What what precedes football? Oh well, it's gonna be it's gonna be the fam. Yeah, yeah fam. it's hard oh. to beat. It's hard to beat. I know it's yeah. a bit of a um, cliche, but. Well, my family's all Saints footy, so that's... Yeah, well, mum's a saint, Jess is a saint, my sister Jade's a saint, dad's basically a saint now, so, yeah. It's family, but if football's on the tally, football's on. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, All right, well... That was Marshy. massive. That was that was big. That was that Thanks was half an hour worth yeah. of Jake's junk mail. That was great. We <laughs> got laughs, really carried yeah. away there. Yeah. yeah, some good times. Uh, do you have a minute for us? Oh uh, yeah, got a bit of a cheeky minute, a cheeky one. Yeah, Is it a cheeky good one? minute. Uh, Out of ten, I'd say it's a pretty pertinent good one. Um, super. It's probably going to be a little bit longer than a minute, but. <laughs> Your time starts now. <laughs> All right, you beauty. So we have released, uh, well, we've uh, announced the Spuds game, the Time to Talk game. That's We're doing all the work through that. That's yep. pretty amazing. So, you know, obviously that sort of centres around the Movember and all the things that Danny Frawley was sort of building on. So I'd just like to share with the listeners and to you guys as well. We had a bit of a chat about it, Jakey boy. But mm. um, like recently, you know, um, I've been feeling a bit, you know, a little bit out of out of sorts, so to speak, and just wasn't feeling myself and um, like from a mental space. And for someone who's always had a really, you know, I guess a, a, a really positive you know, out of 10 um, headspace, I was a little bit concerned that I was sort of hovering a, a bit lower than is normal for me. So um, I went and went and saw the doctor and just said to him, like, look, I'm a little bit concerned about my mental health. And they did a few checks, or not checks, a few tests or, or whatever, uh, questionnaires, and then, yeah, linked us in to go get some uh, counselling supports. And... You know, it's an uncomfortable process, but once you're there, it's it's like getting into the shower, like or you're getting into the pool. Once you, once you're in, you're like, oh, this is this is nice. Um, I don't know why I didn't get in a bit earlier. Yeah. So, just for everyone listening out there, I, I'd say that you know we we do sort of um, uh, a bit of chat around the mental health space, um, but yeah, I guess if you are feeling a bit flat or you know just things aren't how you feel they should, I, I strongly recommend, you know, you go there, you get your mental health care plan. I think you get 20 visits now because of COVID. And, and to be honest, for me, COVID was probably one of the biggest things for me, it, as it is for a lot of people. It was a shit couple of years, and I think we're all just catching up to that. So um, my message to everyone listening, um, even if you are super good in the headspace, that's, that's awesome. But um, it's always, yeah, important just to... Uh, keep an eye on your mates, but also yourself. Most importantly, yourself, because you're the first one to recognise if something's not a hundred percent. Go nip it in the bud, and yeah, it's it's a good thing to do. I think. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Great step said. there. Brilliant. Great yeah. step there, Marshy. Yeah. yeah. No, that's re- it's really important. It's really important in here. It's really important at St Kilda as well. You look after yourself, and you look after your mates. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and first and foremost, the best way to look after your mates is to look after yourself and make sure you can also give them that guidance 100%. Um, if, they, if they need it as well. So we've, we've all, everyone in here has been, you know, to a psychologist and 
had a mental health check and you know yeah. we've we've all dealt with some really harsh things over the past few years and previously as well so um you've made the right step which is fantastic <laughs> and we we are always here and always got you back yeah. always here for a chat and a beer um so make sure you're getting around your mates because a lot of people are having um a, a tough time getting comfortable again yeah especially coming into winter because yeah, the past are, two years yeah, we've really copped it down mm. here in melbourne we've, we've really copped it um you know, we we're, we're not used to being able to roam around yeah, during the winter right. time. This yeah. is, a, you know, winter is almost just a reminder of how bad the past two years have been. So we're out, we're free, we've got the uh, we've got the options, and and we've got the help now um, as well. Mm-hmm. So if you're not feeling well, Marshy, yep. Hope everyone follows in your footsteps as well and goes and sees their doctor That's and it. has a chat. And, um, you know, we're always here for a chat as well. So, for sure. no, absolutely. I think it's a really, really important part about friendship and really important part about even work. Mm-hmm. I think it's, you know, I can't stress that enough. So, yeah, yeah. absolutely well said, Marshy. That, I think that's the best minute you've had this year. <laughs> yeah. That's it's not it. hard, is it, yeah. to just ask a mate, how's it yeah. going? Oh, well, it, it can be. It, yeah. it, it can be, but then mm. as soon as you do it, it's easy, isn't it? You know, you've, you've, it's, it's done. Re- it's done. It's done. And it's, yeah, exactly right. You've just mm. got to take that first step and just go, hey, I haven't been feeling great. You yeah. know, so. And how often does it happen when you think about it? You know, we can talk yeah. about it more next week in the lead up to Spud's game, but how often does a mate come up to you and go, how are you going? Not often enough. Not often enough. I mean, yep. I'll be honest, he asked me the other day and yep. that took me, you know, I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but clearly, you know, Sometimes your mates will notice something about you that you don't even notice yourself. So it's yeah. really good that you have mates that are aware of those yeah. things. Yeah. Um, so if there's a mate that even just for a little bit, you're like, I'll just ask him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Do it. It's an just easy conversation. It. Don't even think about it. Just do it. Yeah. 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 It's exactly important. right. Yeah. yeah. Well, on that perfect note, great note, <laughs> uh, we will wrap it up. We have got Brisbane. This Saturday night at the Gabba, 7.30. 7.30 bounce. 7.30 bounce. I will be up there. I'll be excited in the crisp 13 degree weather. Where are you sitting? So we can keep an eye out for you. Haven't got tickets yet. Okay. Yeah, so, but we'll probably be sitting up top. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see the game. I want to see the Gabba. Yeah, it looks something like fluoro, so if it does pan out to the <laughs> yeah. top, I've got, I've got a really bright green jumper, <laughs> yeah, but it just tough. doesn't match the Saints vibe. So, <laughs> no. Yeah, because nah. I remember wearing it to a Collingwood match once and it was so easy to see me in the crowd. But <laughs> yeah, I think, I, th- I think I'll just have to blend in a little bit. And, yeah, uh, yeah. If we are in range, I'll make sure I send you boys a snap and go, keep an eye out here. But yeah, um, <laughs> yeah regardless, get down to the Bentley Social yep. from 5 p.m. Yep. 15% off food and drinks if you're wearing your... Saints gear. Must Saints wear gear. your Saints yeah. gear. Get the colours out. That's yeah, because that's the only way they can tell who's who in the zoo. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All righty, boys. It's been fantastic. Can't wait for this weekend and cannot wait for Monday night again to come around so we yeah. can do another potty. Brilliant. <laughs> Go Saints. Go the Saints.